One of the great things you do when you come to Derry is to jump on the Derry Coleraine line. <laughs> I'm just going to meet someone who knows all or else they know about this line. How are you all? Really yeah. nice to meet you. We'll just jump on board here. Great, let's go. So Alan, can you tell us a bit of a history about this line? Yes, this line has a very long history. It began life as what was called the London Dairy to Coleraine Railway. It, they actually started to build as early as 1845, which of course was the famine year. It was part of a very grandiose scheme to not only build a railway, but to reclaim something like 40,000 acres of land from the foil as well. So it was a reclamation scheme plus a railway line. The optimistic hope was that what they would make from reclaiming would actually build the railway virtually for nothing. But of course that didn't work out. Eventually the railway did open in 1853. Uh, it went as far as Coleraine, but not the station that we use today. It was on the opposite side of the River Ban. It was to be another seven years before the Ban was crossed on the bridge that we pass today. So economically, why is this line so important? The proof of it is that the line is now carrying over a million passengers a year. Uh, this particular section between Londonderry and Coleraine, in the last five years, has doubled the number of people travelling on it. Uh, so that they're now over 300,000 using it uh, a year. Uh, and certainly an awful lot of people travel to Portrush this time of year, as you saw from the train we got on in Coleraine, which was packed uh, as far as Coleraine, because people go to Portrush obviously for holidays, day trips, uh, etc. So Al, from your point of view, for tourists, why is this one of the best journeys? I think everything about the journey, from the minute you get in at Coleraine Station, uh, immediately you cross over the ban, uh, you're seeing the river ban up, up the estuary, uh, then you're into Castle Rock, you're at the seaside, you've two magnificent tunnels to go through, then you're downhill with Mussendon Temple right above you, a National Trust gem, and then you're right along the coast uh, from downhill virtually to McGilligan, and then you're following the shoreline of the River Foyle from there into Roland area. Well, Al, thanks for having a chat with us. Um, we should sit down and enjoy the scenery. Let's let's just let the journey take the stream.